thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to talk about medicine, you know, from the previous video that we saw together. And uh, uh, I'm going to talk about my personal history, that I had a dream when I was a little baby boy uh, to become a cardiac surgeon because of my personal history that I had a sister that died before I was born from a heart problem in uh, 1978. So uh, why did I call my speech a round trip journey? Because uh, uh, I called my speech because uh, I started from, a, uh, I went away from a northern Albanian city when I was a boy. I went to Italy and then I made a whole round trip journey through four continents to come back in Albania after 18 years and to start a program of pediatric cardiac surgery from zero. And as you know, I'm a cardiac surgeon and I deal every day with a children's heart. Uh, this is my journey. I started from Leja. This is the city where I was born. I went in Padova and I had the great chance to go there to study in one of the best medical schools in Europe and I graduated. I entered the residency program training in cardiac surgery and meantime I was there. We did a mission in Eritrea and I think that this Eritrea is the one of the most poorest country that I've ever seen. And while I was there, uh, I was thinking, we operated 48 children with another surgeon there. I was thinking, uh, what am I doing here while I have my Eritrea in Albania? Because nobody was doing this thing here. And uh, when I got back, I was more motivated to go forward in my training, to complete my training in cardiac surgery, and always thinking to come back in Albania and to start operate children with heart defects. I continued through England. <laughs> I continued through England. I went in uh, London to work uh, with for three months with the best anatomist in the world, uh, Dr. Robert Anderson. I had this big chance to be there. And then I went through excellent centers in the United States, in Boston, New York, Guatemala City. I came back in Italy. I came back in Albania. I've been staying here for three months, for three years, operating children at Mother Teresa hospitals, Hospital. And uh, when I came back for, from all those centers, I brought back with me part of Europe, part of Italy, part of England, part of Boston, part of Guatemala too, and uh, I used them to operate every day children with heart defects. My mentor, uh, Dr. Aldo Castaneda, I worked with him for two years, uh, William Led professor at Harvard Medical School and surgeon chief at Harvard Medical School, uh, director of Boston Children's Hospital. He taught me that uh, uh, medicine is a mission and surgery is art. These are all photos of children with heart defects that I operated in different centers all around the centers that I went uh, to train. What do they have in common? They have in common that they all have a heart defect. And uh, what we know now is that these children, if they don't get operated, they all are going to die. Some of them die within the first days of life. Some of them die within the first months of life. And some of them, when they are five years old, six years old, 10 years old. But uh, what do they not have in common except the color? They don't have in common the possibility to get treated equally because some of them are born in Boston, and in Boston they have, this is the capital of cardiac surgery, and they have this excellent medicine there. Some of them are born in Padova in Italy. They have high, medi high excellent medicine too. Some of them are born in Africa, and some of them are born in Albania. This was the situation of Albania in 2009. In 2009 I was not here, and during the whole year there were operated only 10 children, 12 children, by an Italian team that came once a year here and operated these children. But what about the other 250 children that are born every year here? What about the other 250 families that had these children? What Dr. Castaneda taught me in the United States was that uh, the surgical tourism, so the surgical tourism is that part that uh, an Italian, English, or United States, I don't know, a team comes in Albania, works for three or four days, operates some patients here, and then goes away, does not resolve the problem of a country. 
you have to make a local team, so in Albania, Albanian surgeons, Albanian doctors, to treat the children and to continue treating them the whole year and not to expect them, I don't know, the month of November or March because the Italians are going to come. And this was the situation in Albania in 2010 when I started from zero. We started in February, I started in February, and in the first six months I had operated 50 children for the first time in the history of Albania. And uh, what is more important is that in 2010, after these 50 children operated for the first time in the history, the voice of Albania was heard in an international congress of cardiac surgery where I went to present my small series of data, because we had only 50 children operated, but all the other surgeons that came from all around the world knew that this thing is being done in Albania. And there's somebody doing this there, and there's a ray of light and hope for these children. Because if you operate them properly, they come back to the society as an active part. And the government does not need to spend more money for them, to keep, to keep them, because they, they are like all the other children. They grew up, they do activities, and they do everything. And this is, this is what we are doing every day. Some statistics, in Albania are born every year, almost 250 children, 300 some years, 220, uh, children with heart defects. And uh, uh, all these children, as I told you, if they are not treated, they are going to die. Some of pathologists are... Uh, let's say, are more uh, problematic within the first days of life, and we have to operate children immediately. We have operated children of two days of life, as you can see. We have operated of nine days of life, and we have operated even premature children of seven months of gestation and weighing 1.9 kilograms with very high success. And we have a very low mortality compared to the other centers in Europe. And in these three years, Personally, I have operated 300 children, almost 300 children in Albania, and only the first year in 2010, compared to 2009, I operated 110 children, so 10 times more. And that's what we're doing every day. There are almost 60 to 65 defects of the heart, and we have to know how to correct them all. And uh, there's a defect particularly called transposition of the great arteries, the arteries are transposed, that uh, uh, I was always thinking that when I will do this kind of pathology in Albania, when, when I operate a child with this pathology, I will feel myself realized, I will feel happy, because this is the reason, uh, or the pathology, because of my sister died. And when I'll do this, I said, to a child, to an Albanian child, I'll be happy, because, and I realized this, 28th of September of 2010, and I operated this nine-day-old baby for six hours, and it went in all television. It was a great success, I think, for the, not for me, but for the medicine in Albania, and to continue to have the, the faith again in Mother Teresa Hospital that somebody might have lost. <laughs> and this baby now is two years and a half uh, uh, two year and a half uh, old, and uh, the parents knew the history of my sister, named this baby with the same name of my sister. And this is a very important thing for me personally. And is doing a normal life and has a really normal heart. And, but a very special history is of this guy, that because he's now a friend of mine, because he comes and takes, hey doctor, can we go and have a drink together? Yes, Clevi, I say, we can go and have a drink together. Next week, we are going to have a, a football play. Are you coming? Yes, I'm coming, I say. He asked me to go just two days ago. This is the photo of two days ago. You have uh, uh, on the right, you have the photo of three years ago, when he was, uh, before the operation, uh, he had a pathology called Tetralogy of Fallot, and this is my first operation that I performed in Albania of a three-year-old uh, uh, baby, and uh, uh, it went well. Uh, he had four heart defects. We, I fixed them one after other, giving a normal uh, heart, and he's now six years old, playing football, doing a normal life as all the other children. And uh, uh, I have to say something. 
I have operated almost 300 children, but I think that all those hours that I spent studying, studying and flying in aeroplanes, going around the world just to, to get experience, to learn by uh, masters of surgery, and all those hours that I stay training, all those money that I spend uh, in uh, universities, I think that it's worth just to save one life, just his life. Let's forget the others, but just his life. And he is now a normal, a normal, uh, normal six-year-old uh, baby guy. And uh, before the operation, he was blue, as we call blue babies, cyanotic, desaturated, because the blood did not uh, go well in the uh, pulmonary artery to get oxygenated. But there are lots of uh, children like this and a lot of stories. And uh, this is, is, is Albania today a better place? Probably I did not reconstruct roads or buildings, but I think that it's a better place just because of this reality that we are doing every day. And uh, what is important is that must be a surgeon to lead a team in, uh, uh, that uh, existed somehow before here and to reorganize things as they are done in the Western world and always to continue to continue to uh, adapt protocols to the Albanian reality. And I have to say that there's an association uh, called A World for a Heart that insisted, even with me, in a private company to donate next week to the pediatric department the first echocardiogram machine. It's donated by a private company, not by the, the direction of the hospital, only for children with heart defects. So this is a very good thing that we are doing next week. And uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is very important. And uh, I'm going to address even another thing to the probably Albanian students or Albanian young guys that are working outside Albania because they don't come in Albania because they are afraid or disappointed of the reality here or they are scared that they will not have success. And it's very important to know that uh, in Albania it's very difficult to have success. It's more simple to have success in Italy, in the United States, than in Albania. Because, you know, in my road I had a lot of obstacles, a lot of those old relics that don't permit you to go forward, those relics that are there and they are not professional, that see you as a threat because you are coming with new knowledge, because I did not bring anything from the United States or Italy. I just brought my head and my hands. And I'm working with still the same equipments that we had there and dealing with persons in a mentality, very difficult mentality that we have in the hospital, lack of will, lack of equipments, and uh, you have to have a very huge passion to do this work. Because uh, I think that uh, it's a mission, and in a mission you have uh, to give a second chance to these children to go against the nature, what nature did, you have to reconvert it. And uh, you know, all those hours that we spend staying with these children in the hospital because of lack of equipment, it's investing time. And I think that it works because doing this, we are giving life to these children. We are creating happiness to those families. We are reuniting families. And we are doing this just for a heartbeat, just to see a smile in the face of a child. And, and all those obstacles that a person finds here after coming after mm, 20 years in Albania, it's not that the professional, uh, to be a professional, you put them down. You must have a determination and a strong character to put them down and you go forward to uh, face to all these people, tell to all these people that ha this is how this thing is done in the, Western, in the Western world. And I believe that I did the right thing to come back in Albania and contribute just a little bit. Thank you very much. This is me, one year old, and uh, I was just having the first passes, and I know, know how to walk, I said there, and I, wha what, uh, what is next? Next is that after 30 years, I'm going to be cardiac surgeon. I was thinking about those photos in that picture. 